Oh, hey, I almost didn't see you there. Good afternoon, Redeemer Love family. I'm Brother Jonathan Wilkins, and welcome to today's Love No Second. Hope all of you are having a wonderful and very blessed day. And I hope that you can just give me a few moments of your time to just be with the Lord and talk about some of the things that we need to just apply to our life when it comes to our everyday lives as faith-based and Christian people. I want to briefly encourage someone to have and furthermore keep faith in the Lord, his word, and his promises. If you have a second, let this be a moment of earnest devotion. Open your Bible with me briefly to God's word. Matthew 17 and 20 reads, he replied, because you have so little faith. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible to you. When I, when I think about that, it says that no matter how big the situation, if my faith is this big, and even smaller, I can tell something as big as this building that it needs to get out of my way because the God that I serve is that much stronger and more powerful than any and everything that could be stopping me from reaching my purpose and destiny in God. When I read this verse and apply it to my own life, I think back to life struggles. It's daily struggles at that and challenges. And I just begin to smile in the face of my trial and tribulation because my faith remains unwavering. God has my back. Through him, all things are possible. Even in this year's election, it is more than just your vote. We have to have faith that whoever we choose to run this country is the best possible candidate. And they're led by God. The Bible also says in Hebrews, the 11th chapter and 6th verse, and without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. We must ask ourselves, are we earnestly seeking God? Are we believable in his sight? You have to have faith. And so many times we're looking for and seeking a miracle, but how does our faith line up with the miracle we are looking for? Ask yourself, is my faith indicative of God's ability to make things happen in my life? Does your amount of faith offend God? Is it offensive? Faith keeps you when you need to be kept. Stay encouraged and remain faithful. God is going to do everything. He said he would and so much more. I love you, Redeeming Love. I'm praying for you, Redeeming Love. Stay faithful, stay vigilant, and God bless you.